much as back there running she loves the snow man she loved the snow uh the plan today is really to do everything uh the snow has pretty much stopped uh there's a couple of flurries here and there but nothing big so we're gonna uh get most of the yard done today uh over the next couple hours and then get dory uh warmed up we gotta get plowing So, uh, I don't know, a month ago, we had a video, mm -hmm. we introduced Dory, which Dory. by the way, you know, her name is Dory, yeah. she named her. So, the, 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 the question we posed to everybody was whether or not we should do stickers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You didn't win. Did you add them up already? I did. How, what was your score? My score was I won, you lost. <laughs> I'm but going to we double check that. But hold on, we have a compromise. So one of our subscribers had suggested that we get a uh, we get a trailer for it. Oh. Well, we just so happen to have a trailer. Oh. And my thought is is it needs a little love, but if I get it fixed up. And we get it painted blue, similar to this one, kind of matching. Then we put stickers on that. We could do that. You like that idea? I like that. That way we don't put stickers on Dory. All right. We've already named her Dory. I like Dory. Dory is a good name for it. Um, 
Okay, so there it is. There you have it. There's the results. Uh, we're not going to put stickers on it, but we are going to put stickers on the trailer that I'm going to finish. And make pretty for me? And make pretty for you. Yeah. Yeah, so that way you can, uh, yeah, that way you can pull around the trailer. Same color. It'll have all your stickers on it. Okay. All right, so there we have it. At least I get stickers. Yeah, there you get. You're going to get your stickers. Yeah. So overall, what are we thinking about uh, Dory? Do you like I, it? I like Dory. Yeah? Dory does a good job. Yeah, she she's, does. She's good about helping you with the wood, yep. you know, and getting the wood over to the house. She can, the, We can put a lot. The cargo on this thing is, is actually impressive. Yeah, I mean, you said, I think you made two trips. Two trips, and we would have taken the tractor three. Yeah. So, I mean, so, the, the I can put more wood in the bed of this of this side by side than I can in my the bucket of my tractor. That's that's impressive. That's impressive. And then with the snow it's done really well. I mean there's So the snow removal, we have a 60 inch snow plow. It's by Open Trail Plow Systems by KFI. Uh I don't know anything about them. I'm not plugging them. I'm not all I'm gonna say is this. This plow works amazing. Yep. It is light uh, it folds over when it, when it's supposed to fold over, uh, when it kicks back, it's, it's a hell of a bang, but yeah, it it's does, a plow. It scares the heck out of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is, it's so light. That's, that's what's crazy. And, and to, to angle it is, it's a piece of cake. I mean, it really yeah. is. Um, now we do have the windshield on it and we did buy this little plastic, um, thing here which i still have to but you can see the hole above jen's head because <laughs> he didn't attach it right well it was, cold. It was cold it was it cold it was cold the poor baby was cold yeah, it was cold. but he likes the cold i do like the cold just not blowing right on me <laughs> anyway so we got to get this thing put up but we can open it up it's got a zipper on it so the window opens up it'll work it's gonna work perfect and um yeah uh let's see what else uh I can't think of anything else. I can't either. Uh, through the snow with four-wheel drive, it works really good. Um, in the first video, I talked about the reverse. Yep. Uh, I, I think it was just user error. Or at least in my... I, I've gotten a lot better at controlling reverse. And I think it was just... you know, And I, and I think I had made a comment about maybe I just need to practice and be on it more. And I think that was the case. Definitely. Um, you still have to... I have to get on it more because you tend to take it and play with it, and I never see it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Jason is a thing for Dory. I do. I do have a thing for Dory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so now let's talk about the bad, because there is a bad thing about this that we don't like at all. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, we're taking we're having the dealership pick, it, pick up Dory here in a couple weeks. Um, the ignition, uh, I came out here to start it. And when I turned the ignition, nothing happened. Uh, there were no lights. Uh, there were no DC motors running. Uh, cause there's, I think everything in here is, is, has DC motors in it. Um, anyways, there, there was nothing. So then I had to just wiggle it a little bit and you could see that the lights were flashing on the dashboard. What did you wiggle? I wiggled the key. Oh, I thought maybe you wiggled. No, I didn't wiggle. No. No. No, no I wiggled the key. Wiggling the key kind of got the connection back um, and then started. So that is a definite... I, I was not prepared to have that kind of issue. Yeah, especially, a you know, new. a brand new. And I mean, we yeah. hadn't even really drove it in the snow at that point no, when it first happened. No, no, when it first happened. It was just cold. It was just and cold. And we thought it was cold, and then we thought, well, that's not good either, because if it's giving us problems in the cold, and we're going to be using it in the cold, in the cold yeah. that's not a good thing. Yeah. Now, the dealership we bought this from, uh, it was really cool. They're going to come pick it up for us, take a look at it, um, and hopefully they only have it for a day or two. Uh, I think... If, if you're asking me, not that anybody's asking me, but if you're asking me what's wrong with it, it feels like there's just a bad connection in the ignition. Um, the wiggling, the key, 
tells me that it's an intermittent connection. So whether it's actually in the, mech, the the ignition key mechanism or whether it's the wires attached to that mechanism, I don't know. But with us having the warranty. He loves the electronic stuff, so. <laughs> well, I do, I do. Um, so yeah, so overall, I'm giving this thing an A. Yeah. Um, the ignition thing, we'll get that fixed and, and we'll be good to go. Yep. So, yeah. All right, well. There you have it, our final assessment after, I don't know, five, six weeks of owning this thing, yep. putting 88 miles on it. Uh, we love it. Yep. We love it. It was a perfect, it was a great buy for us. Uh, it was great for the homestead. Um, and I just can't wait to use it more. Eventually, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you folks on the next video. Hi, folks. So I just wanted to jump on here and kind of give you guys an update on the repairs that we had on Dory since the video footage was filmed for this video. So the dealership did come. They picked up Dory. Uh, they had her for, I think, two days and then brought her back. Uh, they ended up replacing the ignition. Uh, and they also found another issue with the uh, with the cable or with the linkage for the shifter cable, uh, which they went ahead and adjusted or tightened or repaired, however they were going to do that. Um, unfortunately for me, I got a bill <laughs> for uh, the work that was done on the shifter linkage. Uh, after complaining about it, um, I was told that CF Moto uh, denied the claim against it. Now, mind you, this thing's got less than 100 miles on it, and it's only six weeks off of the dealership lot. Uh, so I went ahead and paid the bill, and uh, you know, Jen and I were pretty upset over it. It wasn't a lot, but it was more principal for us. And, uh, you know, we called the dealership later in the day uh, just to find out that they also were pretty, you know, upset over it. And so they decided to go ahead and front the, uh, you know, re return the money on that bill. Um, and they were going to cover it uh, themselves. I think that just goes to show that there are still good people in the world, uh, still good people at dealerships. And, uh, you know, the folks at Holton Power Sports, I mean, we're not getting anything for this. They just, they have treated us very well. And we would just like to be able to tell you, tell folks out there, you folks, um, you know, that they've, they've done right by us. Uh, and we really, really appreciate it. Um, and if you ever have the opportunity, you know, if you're ever in the business or in the, you know, in, in the market for something that they offer and you're in the area, you know, uh, we would definitely recommend them. Um, we'll be purchasing from them again if the you know, need or the time ever arises because uh, again they've just been really well you know really good for us um, as for CF Moto and the warranty not really happy with them uh, I'm actually I'm a bit pissed off because you know this thing again had less than 100 miles less than six weeks off the the dealership floor and I'm already being denied on something that should have been that should have never failed to begin with um, you know, I, I get it, things happen, uh, but that is something that they should have covered, um, and the dealership should not have been put into a position where they're having to cover things like that when that is something that should have come from the factory. Um, good, you know. But, all right, well, be that as it may, wanted to just give you guys that update. Uh, and that's it for this video. So thanks a lot for sticking around watching it. If you've got any questions or any comments on the video or on... Uh, on the CF Moto, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, we do answer just about every comment that is left. Uh, we think it's really important for us to be engaging with you folks since you are the folks that are supporting us. All right, well, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you folks on the next video.